Hello Zedheads, welcome back, it's Zedtube, and we are back in 7 Days to Die, Alpha 20. Now this is the first build video that I have made in Alpha 20, however, I would like to present you with what I think is the greatest melee base I have ever encountered. So, here we have a little path where the zombies have to walk across, there's a big pit here where the zombies fall inside and get wrecked, and we are using the Jawoodle inspired invisible force field arrow slit maneuver as i like to call it uh, now i'll put a link in the description to jawoodle's video where he explains fully the 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 arrow slit method however what you have to have is a uh, a pit it needs to be at least four blocks uh, high or low whichever you prefer um and then on the top you put these arrow slit blocks uh, which are in the copy shape. If I copy that shape, you'll be able to see it. There it is. And basically you put these arrow slits around the base and what the AI, the AI just doesn't see it as a path. They can't see it, they can't walk on it, they don't know, it really confuses it. And because the blocks are f above this pit, they just, they ignore it. They just don't go there. And I had this idea because uh, when I was doing a stream recently, as you can see here, the zombies were attacking the base of my base uh, and not coming, following the path. So I had to go around the side of my base to kill them, which was kind of annoying. Essentially what happens is the zombies ignore all this area here and they are forced to go around the path where they get wrecked. Now, what I've put is obviously a buttload of spikes and we've got this sledge turret here, which knocks the zombies into the pit of spikes. And then they are forced to carry on around. They get round here, then they get knocked off again by me. Land on more spikes. And the only way out of this pit is through this little tunnel here. Which is also filled with spikes. And then they have to walk around and then carry back up on the path. So that is the base. What I've done is I've given myself a bunch of skill points. Uh, I think my character is about level, here it is, level 23. And I think your character would probably be around that area by level 7, by, uh, by day 7. So we're going to test the day 7 horde against this base and see how it goes. Now, the settings are normal default difficulty, apart from I've put the zombie hordes at 64 zombies, just to give it a extra big amount of zombies to test against so i will see you back here in a few minutes and we will take this horde on let's go right so here we are it is 10 minutes to horde time uh, i've given myself a bunch of sort of weapons that i think i would have by day seven um and they're pretty basic but i don't think you need a lot of i don't think you need a lot of stuff for this this horde because really we're gonna sit in this in this area here um, and if I just uh, come out of myself for a moment you'll see this is basically an impenetrable base I feel like we have this we have this in the bag no probs so here they come here they come and that, as you see they can't they can't get on this area here they, they don't know they don't know what to do. This guy's really confused. Look at him. He's just like, what? What do I do? Bonk. This guy's hitting that for some reason. I don't know. He's a, he's confused. And then they go in the spikes. Off you go, guys. Oh, he's, he gave up. He gave up. Okay. And, uh, you know. Down he goes. See you, mate. That guy hit me. God damn it. Maybe I need to move back a little bit. I 
I think this base could could take on a much bigger horde than this. No probs. No worries. Ow. And we need to we definitely need to take a little bit more of a step back here. There we have it. Day seven horde done. No worries. You put a bit of work into building. You could easily build this base by day seven. No probs, and you this will this will you will survive in this base um, easily to day. I I don't know twenty one. I mean with with upgrades. Once you get con cement, you can upgrade this. You can take this as far as you want. You might want to go a bit lighter on the on the spikes. I, I, I suppose maybe I went a bit overboard on the spikes. I, f I, I wanted to, you know, show you best case scenario. I mean, you don't even need this side really, actually, because this, this side's not really getting used. But the reason I put this in is that if you get the perk that allows you to have two turrets, you'd have another turret here knocking them that way. So you'd have both sides of spike goodness wrecking them i hope you enjoyed that video if you did click the like button and leave me a comment if you think there was uh, things i could do differently things that uh, might work better for the base um and uh, if you've got any ideas for future bases builds i will definitely make them uh, if you suggest them i will make them and i will test them also you know if you click the subscribe button you become a Z head and that is a special echelon of society that you will join which is among the most elite, the most prestigious of people. So consider that, look after yourself, and I will catch you in the next one.